Welcome everyone to TMOLR Texas. I know this is not the normal day that we or I release videos uh, on this channel, but the events of the past couple of days have um, kind of forced me to more or less change the schedule at least for this week. I did have something planned to release uh, yesterday. But I felt that what is currently going on in the Texas Panhandle uh, around Canadian and the uh, and east of the Amarillo area takes precedence. And if you're unfamiliar right now, Texas is fighting the absolute largest wildfire in its state's history. And... Unfortunately, uh, as of this morning, there were there have been reports of casualties, at least one. Uh, this fire is now over one million acres in in scope, and as of last report that I was able to see, it was around three to five percent. Contained now. This is this is huge. This is a massive, massive fire, and there are approximately twenty five thousand acres in western Oklahoma that are on fire as well. So, before we get in a little bit more in depth on this, first thing I want to do is uh, send thoughts and prayers to everyone that has been affected by this fire i know that there have been some evacuations uh, there's been some news about the pantex nuclear facility uh, that's in the area halting or pausing operations we'll get into a little bit of that but i also want to uh, send thoughts and prayers to all of the the firefighters that are out there trying to contain this fire Hopefully, uh, the little bit of rain that was forecast for the area was was beneficial uh, in the in the fighting of the fire. But uh, you know, if if you're uh, if whether you're religious or not, if if you uh, could keep these individuals, these people, in your thoughts, uh, if you are a praying person, please offer up prayers for their their safety and their well being. And that we are able to contain this fire and 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 get it extinguished and hopefully start the rebuilding process. Now, this fire uh, over one million acres in in its scope and its in its size. And I've got a couple of. Pictures, I guess, is our uh, illustrations of just how large this fire is. Um, the first one we're going to look at is just a map of the the smoke or smokehouse creek fire. Uh, this thing is this is just massive here. You can see here that uh, you can see the just over there to the right hand side of the screen you can see that the uh, texas oklahoma border is right there and you can see that small little thumb area that goes out that's approximately twenty five thousand acres that has been burned and canadian is is pretty much right there in the center uh, of this and it has gone to the west as well and is uh and it's taken a, a lot of of land a lot of structures and just to kind of give you also an idea of how big this is uh cw39 in houston uh, had a a comparison shot that i thought was uh kind of gives you an idea of what the scope is so the 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 outline of the fire, the the one million plus acres, and they superimpose that over the city of San Antonio, and 
the in pretty much the entire city of San Antonio, uh, except for just that little bitty piece. I think that is sixty. The sixteen oh four loop is not in the fire, but it goes all the way towards Hondo and stretches out towards uh, the Gonzalez area. I believe that um, it's it it's right. It would be right there underneath New Bronzeville's, just to the south of New Bronzeville's, and going up ninety towards Seguin. So this fire is just huge. It is massive. And I've seen some other illustrations where it shows the same fire up uh, around the Chicago area. It has, has the outline there in the Chicago area, and it takes up a, a good portion of that whole Chicago area and, and, and goes down into uh, other parts of the lower part of Illinois and just – it this this is a massive massive fire. Uh, there were also reports that the Pantex nuclear facility halted operations. Um, I believe this was on uh, Wednesday that they they made the decision that um, uh, non essential personnel were uh, were asked to go home and. If they needed to evacuate, whatever it may be. However, uh, according to an article in Forbes, that the the essential personnel were still there, and they did have a a large contingent of firefighters there at the facility to uh, to handle any kind of emergency that may arise from this fire. Kind of kind of scary when we're talking about. Uh, nuclear weapons. Now, this Pantex plant used to actually assemble uh, nuclear weapons as part of the uh, American stockpile of nuclear weapons. I think the last one that they actually put together was somewhere around 1991. Now they are dismantling, safely dismantling these older, cycled out, retired nuclear missiles, nuclear weapons at this facility so they're not making any more uh, at this time but they are just actually dismantling them why am i covering this on on a history channel because we are right in the middle of living breathing history this is happening in the now so 50 to 100 years from now if we're still here our children will be learning about the largest fire in the state's history, this what's being called the smokehouse Creek fire. And we're living in it. And on one hand, it's, it's, uh, it's, this is going to sound really weird. It's, it's, it's amazing because we are getting to live and view this history, uh, in real time. At the same time, I cannot help but just feel any kind of uh, of sorrow, any kind of uh, fear for the people that are being affected by this, that are in the path of this fire, the people that are fighting this fire. Uh, I'm I'm uh, I'm a little taken aback by this. Not this is not the first wildfire that that I've witnessed or uh learned about or anything like that i can remember a fire back uh believe it started in callahan county near clyde uh it was covered on cnn i want to say this was maybe the late 80s early 90s i'll have to do a little bit of research to find that and that might actually be a a future episode but i'm going to try to keep this as as short as possible but uh this is uh this is a serious situation, and if if you can just find it in your heart, in your mind, to to keep these people in your thoughts, uh, offer up prayer, whatever it is. Uh, if if you're uh, if they they ask for donations and you're able to, if you are financially able to, and uh, give give what you can. Uh, there's there's going to be a lot of people that are that are probably going to be displaced uh, from these fires. A lot of that land up in the the Texas uh, Panhandle Plains is 
it's it's farm and ranch area uh lots of open fields and things of that nature but there's going to be a lot of damage uh as a result of this fire and also in oklahoma let's not forget about uh, our brothers and sisters to the north of us in oklahoma they're also being uh, affected by this as well so uh just a quick uh quick little episode here we'll be back on normal schedule come uh next wednesday i will be doing some uh some things this weekend to to prepare for some new episodes and i will definitely keep my eye on this uh, this developing situation in the Texas Panhandle in western Oklahoma. So offer up your prayers as much as I can. I know I'm harping on this a little bit, but um, let's, uh, let's keep those individuals in our thoughts and prayers, and uh, let's get through this and, and uh, start the rebuilding process. So until uh, next Wednesday, this is Little Rage, out.